Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Hey, we're playing Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster, and today is going to be one of those wonderful episodes that we all know and love, the grinding episode, and I'm excited about it, but it's uh, got a little bit of a different thing because guess who finally did the thing he said he was going to do and printed out a list of Gao's Rages? <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty stoked about this. Um, first, uh, basically, here's here's my thought process. Um, I want to see if the grind around here is is decent, um, and uh, if so, I'll just kind of get into a good loop. And then while I'm doing it, I want to go through this list of rages, um, and kind of see which ones are good um see which ones are ones that i want to kind of like check out uh ones that i want to make sure that i get um so that'll be uh, that'll be cool man that one does not do there we go that's not too bad i think that's a pretty reasonable oh i gotta give jeff a esper here his name is jeff yeah, we gotta get him some level two spells. So yeah, I think that works. Um, so let's just get us in a battle, kind of see what shows up. And if we run into any big nasties, we'll, we'll change our strategy. But I wanna go through these. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited. Um, so we've got Guard, Imperial Soldier, Templar uses Trident and, and Fire 2, uh, which is the one that I use quite often. Um, after that is the ninja, which is really good. Um, I, I really want to find, oh man, I gotta swap this out already. I really want to find that ninja. Um, let's just finish off Drain. Um, I want to find that ninja because it uses Kiku Ichimanji, which I think is a pretty, like, good, um, sword attack, like physical attack. And then they also do water scroll. So that's a good water elemental um, that I would like to pick up. I'm kind of making some notes on these as I go. Um, they also have like a list of all of the like weaknesses and um, uh, just like notes about it. Because when Gao does the rage, um, he takes on the characteristics so he takes on the elemental weaknesses he takes on if it's a human um right and there are certain spells and things that only work on humans or don't work on humans or um if they're undead like if he take if he does an undead rage he'll turn into an undead guy um so there's man, there's a lot going on the samurai uh one is i i think maybe not as good uh, because it also does Kikuichi Manji, but then does Lullaby. So I guess that's one that could, if you really need to put, to, put somebody to sleep. Um, oh, something I'm going to be paying attention to is if I will have the opportunity to swap around my list of... Um, uh, swap around my list of rages so that i have the ones that i want at the top i don't know if that's possible um and also i've spent so little time before this playthrough doing anything with the rages um i don't know what that is but uh borgies or orog i don't know what that is but it cats holy which is cool um magna rotor or the mag rotor okay it does bio yeah, so it's kind of like knowing all the elements. Like, okay, what element do I want to have? Um, probably won't be able to get that. I mean, I should... You know what? The first thing I should do 
Uh, once I get... Because, yeah, okay, here, here's a sort of a rundown. I'm going to do this episode, and then on the next episode, I'm going to take South Figaro to the other half of the continent, and um, we are going to do the Setzer uh, thing, which is the Daryl's Tomb side quest. Well, it's not actually it's a main quest, because you have to do it. Um, uh, and get the, the new airship. And then I think the first thing I'm going to do after that is get Gal. Um, because I, I just want to have Gao around to do the most things and also to start getting rages. Um, that way, um, uh, I can maybe have, uh, a rage that has, oh dear, ouch, oof. Um, that way I can maybe have a, a rage that has bio or, or something strong that he's kind of weak to. Uh, Hunbaba. He, not he, not Gal. I was thinking about going to the Hunbaba fight. Um, do your abilities and heal your friends today. No, just safety save. Just for squeegies. Just walking around. Um, Cloud, hey, I don't like Hazer. That's the one that does damage to you. Um, Darling is a nice one that does curing. Interesting. Uh, Darling is also called Misty. Um, I don't know what it's called in this game because I don't believe I've run into them. Um, I believe the first place I would see them would either be the Fanatic's Tower or Owser's House. Um, and that's page one. So we've got a couple that we like there. Rain Man? I think that's somebody that shows up in Zozo. Zagram or Brawler uh, uses stone. Um, it absorbs poison, though. That's nice. So, uh, stone is decent, but the melee attack is an unarmed melee attack, so it's it's not that great. And stone is also like kind of too variable to be really reliable, because sometimes it'll do like a ton, and sometimes it'll just be like whatever, or it'll just straight up miss. Um. Dark Force. I don't even remember what that one is, but it does Tsunami. Um, Apocrypha, Angel Whisper, Overmind, does Will of the Wisp, which is a move that casts... Berserk? Will of the Wisp cast Berserk or, or Doom? I don't remember. Um... Ooh, there's one called Osteosaur, or Skeletal Horror, um, which sounds like Bone Dragon, probably. Um, does Dragon Claw and Banish. Dragon? Bone Dragon? Might be Bone Dragon. And it's weak to Holy, um, as well as Fire. It's Undead. Ah, yep, yeah, so that has to be the Bone Dragon. Um, Osteosaur is a very cool... Um, bone, literally bone dragon or bone lizard. Um, oh, I need to heal after this battle. Um, I hope it's not too big a deal that, like, you know, visually and in terms of gameplay, this episode is not going to be terribly interesting. But, you know, we're just talking, um, yeah, there we go. We're just, uh, we're just talking rages, baby. There might be a better place to grind than here, but if there is, keep it to yourself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Commander, Rodox, meh. Were Rat, uh, Ursus, meh. Belmadar or Rhinotar does Megavolt. That one's of interest. And I think I actually have that one. Um. I think I might actually have that one, yeah. Steroidite does Snowstorm, also known as Moodsud. 
M-U-U-D-S-U-U-D. I don't know. Uh, Stray Cat. Okay, does Cat Scratch or Unarmed? Which means it can attack four times, I think. Or up to four times? I gotta look up how that works, because I, I, I've actually talked with Patrick about this. Um, but I don't I don't remember the details of it. Um, Silver Lobo, Doberman, Megalodoth, uh, does Dragon Claw and Snowstorm, Fidor isn't very good, Baskervor isn't very good. The Cyclonic doesn't... Cyclonic just casts weak, I think. Um, what is Suriander? I don't know what that is. I gotta look that one up. Um, ooh, the Chimera uses Aqua Breath, which is cool. Um, oh, and that would also... Well, I guess... I was gonna say that would also be a way that Strago could learn Aqua Breath, but he already knows Aqua Breath um, because he starts with it. What do we got here? Fafnir. Faf I feel like I've seen that one. The Pterodon or Lesser Lopros does Fireball. That one's not bad. Oh, gotta get that Behemoth does Meteor. Uh, Meteor, non-elemental. Uh, I'm pretty sure Meteor's non-elemental. Um, because if it were fire, you could absorb it. But I don't think you can absorb Meteor. Um... Fossil Dragon. Aha! Oh, you know what? Fossil Dragon must be different than Bone Dragon. I wonder if Fossil Dragon is the one in the desert and Bone Dragon is the one in the lava? I th think that's what it might be. Um, Prinizor learned Stop, which I think is... Yep. Let's do another one. Carbuncle. Reflect Haste Shell. Yeah. I think we're doing okay. Uh, holy moly, there's also a Doom Dragon? Is that one of the eight Mega Dragon Boys? I think it is. It casts Northern Cross. Uh, which I don't really know what that is. But, oh dear, that's gonna hurt. Oh no! Krangels. Oh man. Well, let's hope we make it through this battle here. Oh my goodness, 700? Holy. Ah. Okay, yeah, we really need to heal up after that one. I'm not really paying any attention to, like, that much at all. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm mostly, 90% of my attention is on this paper. Uh, Brachiosaur does Disaster, which is a really cool move, but I feel like it's probably not that effective against enemies. Um, doggone it! Stop starting off with Sandstorm. <laughs> now, Tyrannosaur is really good because it casts Meteor. Um, that would be excellent. Dark Wind? I don't know what Dark Wind is, but there's Beacor does Feather Dust. I don't know what Feather Dust is. There's so many things. There's so many things uh, to do and be and use to hurt. <laughs> use to hurt. Oh. Time to fight a bad guy. He's a bad guy. Viz what? The Vezijata. 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 It's a harpy, uh, which is an enemy that's not unusual to run into in a Final Fantasy game. But it casts Cyclonic and uses Ice Rod. Okay, so it's like an ice elemental. Meh. Trapper, Hornet, Crasshopper. Killer Mantis, Trillium. We've got all those. Ooh, Trillium does use Bio. I think I have Trillium. Unless I have the other one. Because there's Trillium, and then there's another one that uses a very similar sprite, but it's a different color and, like, a different level, you know, in that sweet Final Fantasy way. 
the Delta Bug does Megavolt. In case I run into any... I'll have to pick that one up, but I'll, I'll see them on the belt. Um, Nightshade. There's so many of these. There's two, like 250 of these. Um, Vampire Thorn. Cartagra. Oh, Trilobiter. I think some of these names are the ones that, it, that it's given in the GBA uh, or the um, PS2 or PS1. The PlayStation port. Uh, what other PlayStation port is? Um, Siegfried? Oh, well, that would be cool because Siegfried can use Flare, but this is one of those that you can only get if you cheat um, because the code is in there, but there's no way for the game mechanics to actually grant it to you as it's programmed. Uh, you have to go in and, and do some sort of cheat or like use like a third party like thing to interrupt the interrupt the programming which is too bad because Siegfried is cool and I wish they had done more with Siegfried um but you know what can you do Nautiloid Exocide Angliform Leapfrog oh Leapfrog is Reach Frog oh we're good how are we doing on levels right now yeah let's I mean we're halfway let's see if we can get people close to level 30 maybe i don't know if there's like better we're getting like 300 a piece for them because each of these battles is about 900 maybe oh no oh dear the reach frog does sticky goo which casts slow uh, if i'm not mistaken <laughs> <clears throat> chicken lip. Ooh, chicken lip does quake? Lich war chicken. Um, which is a weird one you run into. I should heal because I got... There we go. Um, we got the Magitek armor, Onion Knight. Onion Knight doesn't really... Also known as Pipsqueak. Uh, can't get Typhon. Hoover? What is that? There's so many things that I just don't, like, I, I imagine I would, like, if I saw them and they popped up in a battle, I'd be like, oh yeah, that thing. But, I just don't remember Venomist. What is that? The writer, who I either have or should, is definitely on the Veld, because I ran into it in the battle in Narsh. Uh, uh, casts Venomist. And I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. That's so interesting. Armored Weapon does Gravity Bomb. I don't remember what Gravity Bomb does in this game. Um, Satellite does Sonic Boom. Flan, Spritzer, Outcast. I, I want to figure out what Life Shaver does. Because I, 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 I saw so much of it on the floating continent that I don't, I never really got a sense of like how it worked. Um, and that was weird. I wonder, let's walk towards the, um, can I get around there? Desert hair. Oh, these guys are toast. Excuse me? What? Why did it heal me? That's so strange. I kind of love that, though. Boy, I hope that one shows up. Huh. I'm going to make a note about desert hair. I don't... Is that one just called Leafer in the original game? I don't remember. Um... This is a good time to say... What's in the forest here? Anything better? Oceanus! Oh no! Okay! Well, I mean, at least that one will show up on the Velt too because it does magnitude 8. Yikes! Holy moly! Yes, Jeff! His name. A Jeff.
Oh, new Esper for Jeff. Sleep Silent Slow Fire. He'll learn these quite quickly. Yeah, let's see what else is in this forest here. Just kind of... This is this is a thing... Yeah, another Oceanus is going to do Magnitude 8 again. It seems like that is probably either its primary first turn move or its only first turn move. The way they program these is usually something like, you know... Two out of three chance to do X, one out of three chance to do Y, or something, you know, something like that. Um, I guess. Oh, what? Oh, no, I changed it. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, oh, I forgot to change. Look at the shape of this. The desert hair has returned. Let's kick the table. Sorry about that. <laughs> we got Brain Pan, does a thousand needles. Crawler does sticky goo. Repo Man does self destruct? That's weird. Huh. Oh, there goes that magnitude 8. Still Life does lullaby. Still Life only shows up in um, Alzer's place, but, you know, we'll, we'll definitely go there for sure. Um... Oh, I haven't been. I, I meant. I came over here because I wanted to look at. Um how much experience I was getting for this. Sounds of a tie, let's do it. Boxed set, ooh, box set does Medio. Hades Gigas does Magnitude 8. Slam Dancer does Blizzara. Ooh, that's nice. That's a good level two Icy Boy. Thank you! It's very nice of you! Aw, oh, man, not again! The Tonberry it does break. Uh, I kind of wish it were better because Tonberry is such a cool enemy. There we go. I really, I think Tonberry might be one of my favorite enemies. Uh, just in, in like the way that he looks and his sort of vibe. I really like the Tonberry in FF7 because you can see him sort of like creep towards you. And it's like, he's basically like a slow motion serial killer. I mean, Maybe, maybe because I've had that on the brain because I've been listening to, um, uh, I, I just listened to I'll Be Gone in the Dark on audiobook, um, which is a book about the Golden State Killer. And then I just restarted, um, well, that was my second time listening to that. And I'm going through my second time, uh, uh through Robert Graysmith's Zodiac. Um, and I, sometimes I feel weird because, like, we do seem to have a cultural fascination with serial killers um, that maybe isn't healthy. I, I, I don't know, because sometimes I'm like, we are thinking about like human behavior and like how to attempt to make sense out of something that we consider to be uh, a monstrosity or like totally nonsensical, right? Um, but also sometimes I wonder if we don't do it because it just kind of like titillates us to think about like human like destruction and, and drama and tragedy. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I, how I think about that. But all that to say, Zodiac is one of my favorite movies. Uh, Robert Graysmith's book, Zodiac, upon which the movie is based, um, is uh, to me a very interesting book. Um, I'm not super deep in the lore, but I am on team Arthur Lee Allen as the identity of, of the Zodiac killer. Um, but I couldn't like... I would readily admit that uh, I am more affected by, you know, Graysmith's telling of the facts than, say, someone else's. And Graysmith seems to be biased in favor of Arthur Lee Allen as the identity um, of the Zodiac Killer. Uh, whereas there are other theories of other people and, and people who think that it's not possible that Arthur Lee Allen... Uh, was the Zodiac, so. Oh, I just figured out why Beeping seems to be getting healed by Magnitude 8. And I wonder if that's because of something he's wearing, or maybe the Esper that he has. Thank you very much. Healing my bot. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this, watch this, watch this. 435. Healed. Yeah, interesting. Um. Oh, we did the, the Magic Urn does Kuraga. 
And I think that's one definitely to try to get. Um, just to kind of have, not, you would never, I would never use Gao, use Magic Urn on Gao, like, in a, like, an important battle. I would do it probably in the end game in just, like, a normal battle. Um, and just kind of let him go and heal everybody up. Um, while kind of, like, dealing with the enemies. Um, and just kind of let him do that. Because, again, when Gao is raging, he's not spending magic points. Uh, which I think is really excellent. Bjonk! Bjonk! Oh, man! There it goes again! Oh, man, we got Mover. We got Figaro Lizard. I don't think I care about that. Buffalax. I guess it does Sloga, which is really good. So I might want to keep an eye on Buffalax. Um, but having a whole battle's worth of somebody casting Sloga isn't really that important. Malboro or Mad Oscar is kind of interesting. Darkseid uses Blizzara. Ghost uses Thundera. Interesting. Uh... Wind Slash. Oh, Guard Leader or Marshall, which I think I have, uses Wind Slash. General does Kura and Kiku Ichimanji Covert. I don't know what Covert is. Guys, there's so many. There's so many of them. I have... I'm not even halfway through the list, right? There's so many of them, uh, which is incredible. Uh, very cool. What's in here? Oh, you know what I should do first, though? Oh, I'm okay. Anybody? Oh, this is actually really good, too, for... Ooh, Dante. This is actually really good for um, Traveler, the lore that I want to get. That is, does damage based on how many steps uh, you've taken. Bye-bye. Um, okay, that was 1150. <laughs> and it was quite quick. So let's see what we can get here. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much at this point because I'm almost done with the episode and I'm almost to, you know, level 30, like I said, was where I wanted to be, but. Bye guys. Yeah, so th them having this aftercast. Um... Oh, yeah. I don't get anything for those guys except um, AP, I didn't even realize that. What a silly billy I've been. Let's do this one, because it seems like Dante is the one we're getting here, and that's a pretty quick battle, um, for 11.50. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, I got a golden shield, too. I got a golden shield. Oh man, is he gonna learn all the espers? Maybe. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more here, maybe just a few more minutes in here, but set up a, oh. Okay, well actually I'll keep the same strategy. I was, I was gonna say I'll set up a new strategy uh, for dealing with Dante, but it seems like I have things besides Dante. Later guys! Nice, we're so much stronger than we were. Jeff learned fire. La 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 la. Man, li listen to this. Um, Ogor does Sandstorm. Warlock. Cherry? I don't remember who that is. Joker does Thundera. Ah, Devil or Goblin does Thundera. Thundaga, that's one I'm really gonna want to look out for. I'm, 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 I definitely want to find, um, I definitely want to find ones that cast level three elemental magic. Um, Provoker, Cloud Wraith, also known as, oh, Power Demon. I remember Power Demon. They're in the Phoenix Cave, um, which 
Power Demon is maybe the coolest name of anything. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, everybody's doing fine. I'm not really taking any damage here either, too. This is nice. Um, oh, back attack. Mahadeva, also known as Displayer. Vector Hound, Peepers, Stunner, Sorath, Rhinox, Robite, Wildcat, Red Fake. Does Blaster? I don't know what Blaster is. Bounty Man, also known as Hunting Hound? I have no clue what that is. Gorgias? Uh, I have Gorgias. Or possibly Gorgias. Um, I always. I learned a Gorgias. Because um, it is the name of a platonic dialogue named after the individual in the dialogue, the primary individual with whom uh, Socrates is speaking. And I believe I mentioned this on a previous episode, and I successfully failed. I successfully failed. I definitely didn't remember what that dialogue is about, and I tried to explain it badly. Um, and I still don't really remember. Gorgias, also known as Tusker. Don, also known as Ralph. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you guys remember Senor Behemoth, SR Behemoth? Apparently in other games was referred to as Behemoth King. Uh, so my my guess is that would supposed to that was supposed to be sort of like a senior Behemoth, right? Like a Behemoth that's better. But Zombie Dragon, also known as Zombone, that just casts Doom though. That's not really that great. I do want. Senor Behemoth, though, because Senor Behemoth has Viraga. Um, so does Brontar, Primeval Dragon. Allosaurus just casts Dath. I don't think I would want that one. Harpy. Man, there's so many weird different ones. Wait, is everybody. No, Karina Zor and Jeff are almost there. I'll get them, I'll get them one more level. I'll get them to 29 and then I'll call it. Um, anyway, yeah, there's so much. I, like, I, I continue to be astonished at how deep this game is. Um, it's, it's truly incredible. Um, and how you could you could play this game 10, 12 times and never really do the same thing twice, aside from the story beats, right? Which are, you know, pretty normal. But, like, you could have completely different loadouts. You could have completely different teams. Especially once you get to the world of Ruin, it's just, like, sky's the limit, baby. It's fully open... Not fully open world, but, like, it's pretty darn open world, right? Like... There's a lot of open worldedness. Oh no! I hate that mad sickle move. That's the only one that could kind of mess me up. Ah, stinkums. Nope, what am I doing? Here we go. Oh, Dante's back, baby! What's up, I'm Dante. This is my crazy dog gremlin. I ride him all around and I stab people with my giant weather vane. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> oh, criminy. Oh, wow. Espers. Oh, yeah, let's finish off Kieran. His name, a Jeff. I don't really care about Drain. Um, teleport banish stop. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, and it's got um something that I don't think I ever really paid that much attention to in previous playthroughs was um the level up benefits of some espers is similar to the way that like in Pokemon, if you level up a Pokemon by beating a certain other Pokemon of a certain type or with certain attributes, it changes your types and attributes, not 
types. Uh, it, it changes, like, your levels, like, how your levels go up. Um, uh, so that it's not quite the same every time, right? Like, if you level up wearing Rama versus level up wearing Fenrir, like, you're gonna get different stats. Um, and that's really cool and something I never really paid that much attention to. There it is! Karinazor is officially level... Oh, man, he has so much. Is officially level 29. That's fantastic. Let's walk out here. And we'll save our game. I didn't even get through half the list of Gao's Rages, which, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, but this has been fun. This has been a good old grindy episode. Nothing wrong with a little game and grind. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Pete Plays. Bye.